Hello, my name is Crystal. I'm at my flat at Lansdowne Court this lovely sunny morning on the 19th of February 2018. It's after 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, um, I've woken up with an earache and a headache basically because someone kept texting me constantly last night before I went to bed. And then... Um, they kept ringing my phone as well and um, I had a call from my son on his landline phone and he's pot David and he's possibly meeting me today um, in Chatham so I'm meeting my son um, later on this morning. Um, I have an earache and a headache. Um, it may be something to do with the, the really hot weather as well. I didn't sleep very well last night. Um, I'm just going to sit down now because I don't feel too good. <laughs> Um, so it's Thursday, um, pain in my head and ears has got worse, um, I'm sat by myself, uh, I live alone, so I'm sat by myself, there's no one here, um, so I'm just really waiting for a call from my son David, um, my other son texted me last night, he must have been kept awake because we had the terrible news that Dale Winton um, had died uh, yesterday. Um, and I remember Dale Winton from Supermarket Sweep, I'm 49 years old, I was born in 1968, so over 20 years ago. That's because um, those are the areas that bear the most I used to watch Supermarket Sweep, the trolley dash with all the shopping. I used to love that. Because you could still feel the pressure that's, on those areas. That would be but a dream of mine to go around to the supermarket and just being able to fill your trolley sleep. with everything so you like at the supermarket. We've laid out different ways to represent So that for me was sad news. Because also it makes you realise that you're getting older and a lot of people are dying in their 60s. Um, that's um, somebody in a white van hooting for someone downstairs to go to work. Um, normally I probably would have tried to have gone, gone out early today uh, to get That's some bits get but I really haven't got that much money um, to go out shopping. Um, I've got council tax coming out of my money, um, the TV license, um, it doesn't go very far. Um, um, it's just it's the same old, same old really, just staying indoors, lovely weather, but unless you've got a really lot, a substantial amount of money, you really can't do anything or go anywhere. Um, um, what I will do is I'll read you one of my poems that I wrote all poetry because it seems on the channels today especially on, on her chanda that they're we're advertising christmas cards so i'm going to read a happy valentine's day poem that i wrote in February 2017 on the old poetry site happy valentine's day I am sending you a thousand kisses, moi, wishing on a thousand stars, 
that my love flies in the air to you from so very far. I am sending you a big hug. I am wishing you love while I am alone here, like a lonesome dove. Take care, darling, wherever you are. I am thinking of you. My love shines like the brightest star. My love is true. No one can break the bond we have. No one can get in the way. I do not care what people think, and I do not give a damn what people say. So happy Valentine's Day, my dear. One day I will be by your side. You have nothing to fear, because I have nothing to hide. And what I mean by that is, I have had a bit of a past, but I've never been locked up in prison. I've been arrested for things I haven't done, but I've never had a prison sentence. Um, all the things that happened to me, um, I'm not ashamed of, and I can explain, and I'm not scared of doing so. I've made mistakes like everybody else, but there we are. Oh, and I notice that Prince Charles is celebrating his love for Camilla. It's going to be a documentary or something on the television about Prince Charles and his darling wife Camilla. Um, I think for Die Hard Princess Diana fans, that's a bit too much. I shall not be watching that, but when you just Google on the internet, his face appears, and um, he seems to be everywhere at the minute, and poor Princess Diana is long dead and gone and forgotten. And I, d I, I just hope that they've cleaned up the um, mouldy green monument. It wasn't a very flattering monument, face of Diana either. She was a very beautiful, very kind and caring woman. And I do not think that the, f the monument and, and some of the pictures are very flattering of Diana at all. Um, she's very sadly missed. And I think had she been alive today, I don't think this world would have been in such a, 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 a terrible state as it is now. I don't think she was a greedy woman. I, I think she was sharing and caring, and, and she, she held hands with anybody. And the enormous amount of talk about her mental health and how she was unstable. Um, it seems like a lot of people bring up someone's mental health issues uh, when someone um, is trying to do something to the world and change it and make it better for